let's look at how we can um, score, grade, assess, and comment on assignments. So I'm in a course here, uh, Schoology Intro, that all the stu uh, STO students completed, and I can see that I've got five assignments here. I've got a quiz, three assignments, and a discussion thread. The icons tell me that. So I'll go ahead and I'll open up one of the assignments that I created. And you'll see that what the students were asked to do or was to basically use the chart down below, pick one from each of the categories and create their pirate name. And I asked that they included their typed name in the submission as well as a recording using the audio or video tool. Um, they did all of the work. And so what I see is once they've submitted something, I get a notification that it needs grading. I've already went in and I scored Jack. So you can see the 10 out of 10. You'll see why. Once I click on the name, it gets me to the place where I'm going to be giving the grade, 10 out of 10. If I click on here, you'll see that I was able to type that number in directly there. I can add a comment here. And I'm going to want to click on Show to Student so Jack gets a chance to see the grade that I gave him. He got the 10 because, indeed, he did um, submit his recording of saying, the na saying his name. And then he also typed the name Fluff Bucket Squiffy from the West. You'll also notice that I can give a comment here to Jack if I want to, to give him more direction. I can attach a file if he need, if I need to elaborate a little bit further, and I can also voice record or do a video response to him and post that way. So two ways to be able to give comments on his grade. I also then, once I'm done with Jack, can click here, and I move into the next submission, and I've got Sam's submission here. So again, um, I see that what Sam did was voice record like he needed to, but what he didn't do was to type what the name was there. So I'll go ahead and just give an 8 out of 10 so you can see how that works. And I would suggest here we submit. A typing. And I would um, add that there. I'm not going to do that just for now. But then you'll see they each come through here and they stack up like that. So it's fairly easy for me to go ahead and score. If it turns out that I had created the assignment um, with using a rubric or a scale, the rubric scale itself would pop up right here. So instead of putting the point system, the entire um, scale itself would come up and I could score directly in here and also comment as well. So that's a really um, simple and easy um, direct way to be able to scroll through all of the assignments and give feedback. Finally, let's go and see what it looks like in the gradebook once that's happened. So I'm coming over here to the left-hand side. I click on gradebook here, still in this course, and you can see the... Um, names of the students and it's set up here. And oftentimes what happens is I don't see any of the assignments even though I know that I've already scored them. And one of the ways to troubleshoot that is if I do this drop down here, what I want to make sure is I'm looking at the right um, the uh, the right uh, range of dates. Um, that Again, that's just one of those troubleshooting things. And since it was back in quarter three when we did this work, now I'm viewing that and you can see each one of the assignments here. This is the what is my pirate. Here you'll see Jack's 10. And if I click on this, it's going to get me right out to the student submission, back into that grading space. Click here, and I can see the comment that I've given, and I can even add more commentary here if I would like to. And then I want to show you as well, this little flag on each one allows me to mark it as excused, incomplete, or missing. And finally, one of the ways I can work oops, within this space is I have this three-dot drop-down. And what that allows me to do is sort of edit the whole row I can track revision so I could set all the grades. So if I knew all of the kids were getting 10 out of 10, it's a really simple way to go ahead and do that um, here in the gradebook. Hope this helps.